to a crime alert. Two 12 year olds shot while waiting for their school bus, and police say the person who pulled the trigger is only 16 years old. Local 10's Alex Finney is live in Northwest Miami Dade with what led up to that shooting. Alex. And Eden, it is so bizarre and it is so heartbreaking. These children were just waiting for the school bus to head to school. And also this as well, we just got an update from police. We have photos of the weapons that apparently this 16 year old used all because these kids refused to give up their cell phones. These are the guns that police say a 16 year old used to shoot two children waiting for the school bus Thursday morning. One of the victim's mother told Local 10 off camera that she is hoping and praying that her son will be OK. Individual 16 years old approached them with a firearm demanding their property and just began shooting at them for no reason. The shooting occurred just before 8 a.m. in the area of Northwest 109th Street and 10th Avenue. A 16 year old approached the two victims and demanded their cell phones. When they said no, he immediately began firing at them. This man who lives nearby described what he saw and heard. I just saw a kid shot in the leg. He said, I saw I'm so in pain. I can't hold it no more. The two children were transported to Jackson Memorial Hospital. Meanwhile, a nearby school was on lockdown for a while as police searched for the suspect. Sky 10 flying above as the teen was arrested. Police say he was found in a nearby shed off Northwest 96th Street. These are two juveniles, two 12 year olds. Could be our children, they're just going to school. That is the last thing that any parent has in their mind, that their 12 year olds that are waiting to go to school are gonna get shot at. And for these families, that's just such a scary reality. That is what happened. We actually saw the families coming and going uh, throughout the day. Again, they did not want to go on camera, but we do know that the two children are stable. Now, for an update on this story, which I'm sure there's going to be, make sure that you stay with us right here on air, but also over at local10.com. For now, that's the very latest live right outside of Jackson Memorial Hospital tonight. Alex Finney, Local 10 News. Shockingly sad. Thanks a lot, Alex.